Hey guys, another video today. No, I haven't uploaded most of the ones I've taken yet, but uh, just had a thought digging in my head for a while and didn't want to forget it. And this is Zombie Preppers and the recent uh, explosion of zombie this, that, and the other over the past three, four years. And, uh, verified this because there's a stereotype about them in my mind and uh, I just you know went on read some articles and uh, watched some videos to make sure that I wasn't fucking jumping the gun here and now that I think I'm not uh, you guys are fucking stupid I mean that's if you want to prep for anything including zombies that's fine but prepping for zombies only is the most ass backwards way to fucking prep. Because uh, all it is is 20 knives, 5 pistols, 3 rifles, and not even very much ammo. I just see dudes with a vest, like fucking knife, 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 fucking pistols all over. Got a pistol in their hat and their boot, shotgun on the back, rifle on the back, you know, another shotgun holding in their hands. It's like, they really, like, in the movies, when people are killing zombies, it's always stabbing them in the head, you know, blasting the fuck out of them, uh, whatever. It's all just action, and that's what these guys see, and that's what they think is important, just action, just have knives, have guns, have ammo. Fucking, uh, they don't ever show in the movies, like, people drinking water. You know, or taking a dump. Things that happen all the time that are not dramatic. And that's when, a, like, a real logical prepper is going to have toilet paper. Got to have toilet paper. I will sacrifice, you know, flavoring in food for toilet paper. And water ways to purify water and whatnot. None of these zombie guys have any of that. It's always just like, yeah, I got 700 rounds on me. Well, okay. Think about a zombie apocalypse. <clears throat> that means there's going to be, let's say, I don't know, 1%, 5% of the population is not a zombie. <clears throat> that means it's going to be months, probably years, before you can return to normal life. And they think a whole bunch of knives and 700 rounds is going to carry them through. Fuck, they don't even have like a camelback, a bottle of water. You fucking kill zombies for two hours, you're going to be fucking dehydrated. What if you get scared and you have to crap? I mean, maybe you're scared enough to crap your pants, but if you're not, you got to run out to the woods somewhere. I mean, I guess you could wipe with a leaf or something, but... In my everyday carry, I got some fucking toilet paper. And, uh, it's just... In a zombie movie, nobody reloads, you know? Nobody fucking takes a break, has to rest, has to climb a tree, whatever. Just fucking stupid, man. I guess if zombies occurred, which they won't, it's a stupid fucking concept. It's fun to think about in the same way that roller coasters are fun. They're fun because it puts you in a situation that you're not used to and makes you see things in a little different light. But in reality, like <laughs> you're never gonna be in a roller coaster scenario. That shit don't happen outside of a roller coaster. The same way zombies don't happen outside of zombie movies. They're fun to watch and get all up about but really when you come down to it there's not going to be roaming droves of dead people eating live people or horses or whatever it's just the science behind it is stupid so uh if for some reason that did happen and i'm really fucking wrong and totally stereo 